what about hail? What about hail? Does it yeah. break the panels? You know, the, the panels are made out of tempered glass. And so it's a very, in, in fact, there's a product out there called Gorilla Glass that's, that's designed specifically for a product that's warranted for 25 years. And so it's a very durable glass. It's tempered. Um, it's, it is designed to withstand per the, the uh, requirements um, of the National Electric Code and the IEC to be able to withstand a certain amount of, of, of impact. That impact is roughly a half-inch ball of ice at 53 miles per hour fired perpendicularly, perpendicularly at 10 different points on the module. And so they're, they're rated and they're tested to do that. I've seen pictures where they have two tons of bricks stacked on top of a panel and the panel is bowing and the, the glass is not cracked or shattered. Having said that, all that, it's Texas, and we get some pretty awesome thunderstorms. And so it is possible for hail to damage a panel. And so if that happens, which, like I said, is extremely rare. In fact, as, as long as I've been doing this, I've only seen it once, and it was in San Antonio during a 500-year, quote, you know, um, storm event. Then you replace the panels that have been broken. Now, Oftentimes they'll still perform because the the underlying technology, the silicon wafers, is still productive. It's just the glass that protects it is what has shattered, and so you can get water penetration over time. And so you definitely want to get those things replaced. Who pays for it? Right, that's the next question. Right, solar is a fixture to your home. It's attached to your house, so it's covered by your homeowner's insurance company, whether it's State Farm or Allstate or whoever you USAA. It just becomes another fixture on your home, and so. If the solar panels have been broken by hail, I can assure you that there will be a claim filed on your home because your roof has been destroyed. Uh, generally, your, your, your roof vents, if you have them, your exterior HVAC units, the panels, my experience has been that they're the last thing to go. Hmm. Okay. So then how will that affect my homeowner's insurance then? If it's So this is a question that, that uh, again, is answered with it depends. It depends on who your insurance company is. So I can tell you about my own experience. So I called my State Farm agent and said, I just put solar on the roof. They said, what's the replacement cost? I said, it's roughly, you know, whatever it was to replace the panels on the roof because it's not a, you're not replacing the entire system unless mm -hmm. the house burns down. So they wanted to know that as well. But uh, in, in the event of a storm, what would it cost to replace the panels? And in my situation, they said, you've got plenty of coverage. You're fine. We have had individuals, or I've, I've heard of other homeowners that have, that have talked to their same insurance agent. I, I don't know if they were with a different agency or what. And it's been as much as ten or fifteen dollars a year to add the coverage necessary to make that happen. Oh, that's it. So you would want to check with your 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 insurance agent. Okay, but ten or fifteen dollars a year. Anecdotally, is what I've heard from okay. from individuals. Yeah. Just can't wait to get